Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Are you facing deep inner conflict? I know that most people in the world are. You wake up with thoughts of I have or I have not, I want or I want not, you know what I'm saying. And some of those thoughts are leading you to go deeper at this time. And yes, there is a purge because it's time to let go of I want and what I don't have. You realize that you have everything that you need when you stop focusing on what you don't have. And this is the truth. It's all about perception. You know, I had something presented to me in this way, and I'm going to share it. One hand showed me a big solid diamond and the other hand showed me chips of the diamond. And so two hands are showing me what seems to be two different things. Everyone will think in their own capacity to see the diamond as hold a big stone, excuse me, and then the other diamond in chips. My question would be to you, what would you see if you had a whole diamond put in your hand and one in chips? Moving on from there, this is what we're dealing with. Energy that is scattered, yet we can pull it together and make something out of it called wholeness. So you guys think of that and on that for today, and then get back with me and tell me your thoughts. Energy scattered, yet we are a bit, we have the ability to pull it back together. How do we pull it back together? We see things different. This here idea is so profound that we can use it in so many ways in our inner life and in our outer life. And at this time, we are working on our inner life. We are actually shaping our lives through our inner spirit, which means that that's where our focus should be at. Why? Because we're moving into Saturn and Aquarius again. That means that there is a change in energy dynamics that we haven't felt. The Piscean age brought us a feeling and a idea of what was going on, the idea of even following people. But the Aquarian age brings you the idea where you have to get a knowing that is your time of freedom, which means that you were already trained to follow. So now leaders are coming up and the last shall be last and the first shall be first. A lot of people are going on right now and they don't know what's happening because they're focusing on scattered energy. Um, the pandemic, where do you bring in wholeness? The pandemic is old news. What do we do? Look at how we can do things better, make life better for ourselves and our communities. And then we'll be in the flow. You get in the flow and you get out of your own feelings and your emotions. And let me address feelings and emotions. Our feelings and emotions are not always valid. Sometimes there is something that's triggering us to get the repressed feelings out. And when we get the repressed feelings out, the trigger is like, something of a blessing, a blessing in disguise, because it got us out of a prison mentality or prison feeling. I felt limited because really, I didn't even know I wasn't expressing myself or I wasn't talking my truth. That's what feelings and emotions do when you don't speak up. And there is a way to speak. So if you're triggered and you lose your cool, go back and say, it's okay but it's not okay to do this all the time. Um, I need to learn something out of this because the purge is telling you it has to come up. Now, how can you make it easier on yourself and others where triggers are not actually making you have to do things to change you? You can meditate. Bring that energy into divine order. Whatever is in you that is not productive at this time in your life, release it. That is a prayer. Okay? So you guys be blessed and email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. And I am doing um, the Over 50 Wellness Club with some others. Um, we're over 50. And we want to encourage over 50. 
Why? Because a lot of times people over 50, they retire in their minds and they begin to think that life is over. Well, life is just beginning for us. Whatever you've been through, you've been through it. It's over and done. Release yourself from limitations over 50 people and know that you're not alone. All right. And that can go for younger people, too, because they get stuck. Why are you stuck? Are you stuck because it's somebody that you love that is not loving you back? Well, did you try loving yourself truly to the utmost? Did you try it? And so on. Were you released from a job and you feel like, well, I was working that job for 20 or 30 years. Maybe you was released because there's something better. Anytime you're released, allow yourself to release the things. All right. You guys be blessed. Have a great day. And thanks for listening. Share and subscribe. Bye-bye.